And to our top story this evening, and the main suspect in the murder of Nairobi Hospital acting finance director Eric Maigo has been identified as Anne Odiambo Akini, and the DCI believe her to be a minor. Members of the public informed the police about the suspect, prompting a raid by detectives from Kilimani Police Station on her home in Kibra, where they recovered the very clothes she was captured with on CCTV Thursday, the 15th of this month, as she fled the scene after allegedly stabbing Maigo 25 times. Hassan Mugambi exclusively got hold of CCTV footage and now shows us about how Adhiambo escaped the scene after the gruesome murder. Detectives probing the murder of Eric Maigo, acting finance director at the Nairobi Hospital, have established the identity of the woman said to have stabbed Maigo 25 times on the chest, neck and face. The DCI raided the home of Anne Adhiambo Akinyi, who is still on the run and recovered clothes she wore last Thursday while at Maigo's residence. After her face was circulated by the DCI, detectives at Kilimani Police Station who got information from members of the public raided the Kibra house and found this pair of animal print pants, previously soaked in blood, hanged for drying after being washed. The suspect was however not home and is believed to be on the run. In this CCTV footage, around 6.30 a.m., Adhiambo is seen approaching the gate of this house. Being early morning, it was still locked. After an unsuccessful attempt to open, she starts making her way to the back of the house. Meanwhile, the commotion while trying to open drew the attention of the tenant in this servant quarter. Anne Adhiambo is believed to have fled the scene where she left Maigo's lifeless body by scaling shorter perimeter walls separating the houses in this estate before getting to this house on the edge that had a higher fence, complete with metallic spikes and razor wire. With the tenant outside and Adhiambo feeling cornered, the only way out at this point was to scale water tanks and jump over the fence. The tenant signaling her neighbor in the main house. No amount of persuasion seemed to work. At 6.36 a.m., she jumped, trying to get across the razor wire, despite what looks like abrasions she was getting from the razor wire. Just before jumping off, she fell on the sharp barbs. Detectives believe that she could be nursing serious abdominal injuries wherever she is. When she succeeded, she accessed Kenyatta Apartments, the next property, and here she stole footwear outside one of the houses. Boswanga can you listen at Taka Viatu? Nami Nikam Nikanza Kutafuta Viatu Nikangalia Pakwa Mulango Kwa Feranda Siku Pata, Nikaenda Numa Kwangalia Kwa Balcon Sikuona, Don Nikaruni Kamambia Sijaona Viatu, Na Kuna Viatu Singine Zilikua Apo, Nayene Pote Likua Crocs. At six thirty nine AM she fled towards the gate, taking advantage of the fact that the gate was open as there was a school bus waiting to pick a pupil from the apartment block. Kumuangalia, kwaona kwa ni mwanafunzi. But mi si kuwa na wasuwasi tu walikuwa na hui mwanafunzi ni kadania ni maid, anachukua hui mwanafunzi, haenda shule tu hui mwanafunzi kuna gali likuwa na muangoji hapa kwa gate. But wakati mwanafunzi halipanda gali, nilikaguya sana, nikaka, nikaka. After dashing out of this gate, the suspect is reported to have taken off towards Jamhuri Shopping Center. Detectives are in the process of asking residents and businessmen there whether they saw her. That question still lacks an answer. Meanwhile, a requiem mass for Maigo, attended by friends, family and colleagues, was held at the Nairobi Hospital Amphitheater ahead of his burial on the 29th of this month. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.